Hi, this is Manmad. Welcome back to my channel. Moisture content and water activity will play a crucial role in product quality and preservation and shelf life of the product. Now, today's our topic is we are going to discussing about what is the difference between moisture content and water activity in the product. Now, let us start the video. Moisture content is the total amount of moisture present in any food commodity is called moisture content. What about water activity? The amount of moisture present in the food for microbial growth is called water activity. It is nothing but the free water or unbound water which is present in the food is called as water activity. It is defined as the ratio of vapor pressure of water in a food to the saturated vapor pressure of pure water at the same temperature. Moisture content is nothing but all the moisture present in the food product in the form of bound water, unbound water or free water. Whereas water activity, water activity is nothing but the free moisture which is available for microbial growth is called water activity. Food products above 50% moisture is prone to microbial growth. Various water activity above 9 prone to microbial growth. Various water activity above 0.6 prone to fungal growth or if water activity 0.9 prone to microbial attack. Even some bacteria like Staphylococcus or Salmonella can grow at a water activity of 0.85 or 0.83 also Staphylococcus. Moisture content in the product is measured as percentage, whereas water activity in the product measured as AW scale from 0 to 1. The pure water contains water activity 1. The formula of moisture content wet weight of the product minus dry weight of the product divided by wet weight into 100 will give rise to the percentage of moisture content in the product whereas the formula for water activity whereas the water activity ERH by 100 ERH is nothing but equilibrium relative humidity by 100 will give rise to the water activity Products with water activity of 0.85 or low is considered as low moisture foods. You know sometimes in preservation mechanism in seafood industry or any food industry salt is used as a preservative. Why because, Why because salt reduces the water activity in the food product and sugars also high content of sugars also will reduce the water activity in the food product. Salt or sugar also can be used to reduce the water activity in the food product. Protection the shelf life. Dried or low moisture foods do not contain 25% uh, of moisture. Now the let us have a look of the following table. You see the table water activity range. Rice flour or honey germs water activity below 0.60 so microorganisms remain viable but don't grow and foods like dry fruits cereals spices nuts and dry milk water activity should range from 0.60 to 0.80 mainly fungi like aspergillus will grow and the foods like flour or fruit juice concentrate condensed milk water activity ranges from 0.80 to 0.87 most molds and staphylococcus aureus also will grow and the foods like sausages biscuits cheese bread water activity ranges from 80.87 to 0.98 yeast and molds salmonella clostridium also lactobacillus and some other bacteria also will grow most of the bacteria will grow at this water activity level and water activity above 0 
फ्रेश मीट फ्रेश फिश फ्रेश फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स ऑल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स विल ग्रो एट दिस वाटर एक्टिविटी लेवल दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक सिंबल एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स थैंक यू एंड बाय बाय